Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video on the type of materials and some of the tools you may need to build a GMRS antenna. Um, of course, there's many ways of doing this, but uh, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the basic tools that a person can easily get. I'm not going to use a fancy welder or a, a brazing torch set. Um, you know, I'm going to try to keep it where we can use uh, simple basic tools that you can get just about anywhere. Um, whether you get them online or a rum and sale or an auction, whatever. We, like I say, I'm going to try to keep it simple and easy to do. So, for me, I have a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel. You can use that for cutting and I also have other bits for the Dremel for grinding. If you don't have that, a hacksaw will work, metal files, you're going to need a tape measure, solder, and of course, soldering iron. And you want a pretty heavy duty one with a lot of wattage because we're going to be heating up a lot of, you know, metal with that. So, the hotter the better for the solder iron. Now, for materials, there's a lot of materials you can use. You can use copper, you can use steel, you can use aluminum, you can use brass. But keep in mind is if you have to do any soldering, you have to know what solder will stick to. Solder does, solder does not stick to aluminum. So it's either got to be brass, um, you know, uh, or steel, or copper. Obviously, solder will stick to copper fairly easily. Um, brass, it will too. We'll have to scuff it up and clean up real good. Same with steel. Um, that can be a little tricky to solder on. That's why you need a lot of heat with the sun iron. But so keep that in mind when you go and buy your materials. Now all this stuff here I bought at the local hardware store. And the reason why I'm doing it this way, like I said, I want to make this adjustable. I don't want to have to cut the antenna to tune it. So I bought this collar and like I said, this is a shaft collar, solid steel with a set screw. And my thought is this, I'm going to solder this on to the end of this tubing. And then I can use this collar to, in this steel rod that I also got at the hardware store, I can slide this steel rod up and down to adjust the antenna with, and then tighten it with the set screw. That's what my thought is going to be. Um, like I said, I got the steel rod at the local hardware store in town. Same with the tubing and the collar. So check your local hardware store uh, for these materials. This pile of steel rod I, I got elsewhere. I've had this for a while. This will be my ground, my ground rods. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build a quarter wave antenna uh, 5 8 wave antenna, 3 quarter antenna, full wave, etc, etc. And then we're going to compare them. We're going to compare them in a couple different ways. We're going to compare them with the nano, uh, nano VNA analyzer. We're going to use that. And then we're going to compare them with distance test. We're going to do some distance test. And we will compare that to a commercial antenna. I have a commercial Renovus high gain antenna that you've seen in my other videos. I've been using that antenna. So we're gonna compare the two, compare it to a home built antenna, to a commercial, and see if there's a big difference. Um, you know, uh, that's one thing. Now you can usually, you know, buy uh, these materials here. You know, the, the, the brass tubing can be a little pricey. Oh, and you're also gonna need, I almost forgot to mention, I think I mentioned this in the video, SO239 chassis mount connectors. I bought a whole bunch of them on eBay for like, I don't know, $10 or something. I don't remember. It was really cheap. So we're going to use these for the coax to hook up and then I'll take my you know tubing and then we'll solder a wire, a copper wire off, off of this and hook it to here. You know, somehow, you know, you know, I'll figure it out as I go, but we'll mount them like that. That's just what the thought is. So you're also going to need those. But, like I said, um, you know, that's how I want to make them so I can adjust the antenna. I don't want to have to cut the antenna to tune it. And we'll compare all the antennas to each other. 
and to uh, the commercial antenna that I have. And we'll see how, uh, how good it all works. And then at least you'll know. Um, and I did post some videos on how to calculate the antenna length. So you'll have that video to look at to figure out what length you need. So this is the plan. Now, when I do these antenna videos, I'm not going to show you how to actually solder and, you know, cutting. And I'm not going to show you all that. That gets kind of boring to watch. I will show you after I'm done building it. I will do a video. I will do a close-up of the antenna. I will talk about how I made it, what I did, stuff like that. So that's how we're going to do this. I'm not going to actually show you me actually building an antenna. I'll show you after I'm done. Um, then you can, you know, kind of go from there and do your own thing or your own ideas. So at any rate, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe and thank you and have a good day.